Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. Um, if you guys want to see an auction, I'm thinking it's probably gonna come soon, man. Who knows how soon? But uh, it's, I, I can tell you guys right now, as far as hints go, it's gonna be very, very soon. Um, so hashtag auction down in the comment section if you guys want to see uh, that happen and give you the opportunity to buy some of the cars that we have built on the channel here uh, before today's video we have a request coming from one person in specific retro guy 34 on youtube wants to see a regalia build now took me a second to figure out what kind of car this was and where i could actually find it turns out this car is a free car and i think the actual manufacturer starts with a Q, if I'm not mistaken, and it was a gifted car, so that would explain. Here it is, the Quartz Regalia 723. That would explain why I could not find it anywhere in the buy car section. So since we do own this car now, um, since I did have it delivered to the, uh, you know, to my garage here, we're gonna jump up inside this thing. Now I have to say this is an absolutely insane looking car. This looks like something uh, like a Cruella de Vil would drive or something like that. Just an absolute monster. I'm really excited to see what kind of motor this thing's uh, working with as well. Oh, we don't even have the motor conversion option. Okay, let me just see here. Uh, the front bumper, it looks like a 7.2 liter. Uh, working with a lot of horsepower here front bumper wise I, you know what i don't even think that looks entirely terrible we're gonna go ahead uh add that up here rear wing y'all y'all are fooling right now forza y'all are fooling real hard we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend we didn't see that uh, as far as the look at how long this thing is this is absolutely insane this is the most insane car i think i've ever seen in in forza right now um so we're gonna go ahead just mod this up uh, see what it's all about rim style now this is one of those cars where the manufacturers put on such an extravagant wheel i think it would just be foolish to change this i mean let's have a look at a few different options like what nothing nothing is going to come close to the to the wheel that's on here i mean just have a look i don't even know what to say here uh, we're leaving that wheel, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping we could maybe make the diameter a little bit bigger, but, I mean, as far as wheel style goes, that is the most outlandish and out there thing that I think I've ever seen um, in this game. So we're going to definitely be leaving that on there. Race diff, I want to drift this thing. Um, is it an all-wheel drive or a rear-wheel drive? Not sure. It would be crazy if it was an all-wheel drive, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is almost 100% a rear wheel drive vehicle. Now we are gonna slam this thing and in real life make this probably the most impractical vehicle ever. There's no way, you could slam it on bags but you would definitely need the ability to, in my opinion, lift it up to get through driveways. It's just too long of a vehicle. Um, you'd be scraping that front end and that rear end on everything. Um, now as far as modifications go, we're going to take a look. It looks like we're rocking with a supercharger, centrifugal supercharger, which we are going to upgrade. Intercooled. We do have an all-wheel drive system on this thing, it looks like. So that's absolutely mind-blowing, to be honest. But I'm going to probably uh, put this to a rear-wheel drive bias and give us the ability to drift it. Because this thing definitely looks like the type of vehicle uh, I think we'd be able to have a little bit of fun with. Now, gearing. Eight gears. Absolutely insane right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to do a little bit of a camber on the rear end. Springs going all the way down. And the differential, like I say, a rear biased. And we're going to go ahead, throw that all the way to high. And hopefully that will give us the ability to drift this thing just a little bit easier. Now, as far as designs and paints go... I'm interested to see what people are doing with this thing out there. So I'm just going to go to find a design and see if we can find, you know, a few ideas, something a little bit different. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to do my own kinder, kinder surprise, boy. Um, what I'm thinking is we are probably going to just do our own little paint scheme on this one now wouldn't it be crazy to have some sort of a metallic paint on this thing 
uh, maybe a brushed aluminum or a brushed uh, the brushed aluminum looks pretty cool, but the steel brushed, I think, is where it's going to be at for this one. Um, I'm liking that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install that. As far as the wheels go, dang, that is pretty sick. We're going to black those out, um, black out the windows as well. Um, now, that's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and save that to the current car. Now, one last thing that I do want to do is just black out this roof. Now don't ask me why, I just think it would look cool with a blacked out roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, get back to you guys when I'm all finished. Now unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm able to get this little back corner without going onto the fender. Um, so we're just gonna have to skip that part right there. Uh, this guy needs to get deleted. And then we need to apply this to the right side. And with that being said, I think that's pretty much as close as I'm going to get to where I want this thing. So let's take this thing out on the road now, see what it's all about. Now before we do, let's just get a nice little 360 of this thing. What an absolute monster. I is I don't if this thing is a real life car, this has got to be the most insane car ever. Okay, so supercharged Definitely sounding very nice. Not sure if there's a V8, V10. I'm going to have to do some research on this thing once this video is done. Will it drift? To be honest, it will take a little bit of effort to get this thing to go sideways. That all-wheel drive system, you can tell, still active in the front wheels just a little bit. I mean, it's definitely a fast car. I can't imagine this thing is very light. What year is this? Doesn't even say, 723. There's not even a year for this thing. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to definitely do some research on this thing. You guys give me a little bit of insight down in the comment section if you guys know about this. Is this a real car? Um, is it a concept car? Uh, who actually makes it and if you guys know what kind of engine like if this thing takes an engine from like a Bentley or something like that or if this is just its own one-off engine slash body style I'm interested to know a little bit more about this thing now eight gears we have eight gears here and I don't even think we've gotten this thing out of fifth to be honest definitely has a little bit more I think let's if we can do some tuning on this thing I think that would really help uh, just adjust the gearing a little bit to have a little bit more acceleration bring seven and eighth gear a little bit more into the picture here now I wouldn't mind doing a launch I'm gonna fast travel out to the airport and just see uh, run some numbers see what this thing's all about Alrighty, so let's do a little bit of a launch here. That red line comes awfully quick when you have this many gears. Hit the speed trap the opposite direction. I just want to see if we can utilize all eight of these gears. If we can even get in to eighth gear with this thing would even be impressive. Doesn't look like it's going to happen at this rate. We are running out of runway very, very fast. Still pushing, struggling to get up there in seventh gear. Let's get a view of the interior. Oh my God, what is this, marble? What is even happening right now? Paddle shifters. This is something else, ladies and gentlemen. This is something else. Holy. I gotta say, man, I am thoroughly impressed with this vehicle right now. Um, definitely looks absolutely insane. Sounds good. Drives, eh, drives pretty good. Definitely fast. There's no question about that. Um, I just, you know, it's uh, something like I haven't yet to see. Something like very Mad Max-ish. Uh, but 
I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, definitely do so. Like I say, uh, I'm going to try to keep the trend rolling into Forza Motorsport 7. So definitely drop them request down in the comments section. As always, I'm your boy, Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh, shit. Where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Yo, and your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God.